In this short demo, I'll be showcasing how teams can plan and track marketing campaigns using Spotly. The roadmap view offers visibility across all digital campaigns and the ability to track their progress in a single report panel that slides from the side. Here, campaigns are represented as releases and the colors represent different types of campaigns. For example, big campaigns are seasonal, blue represent growth hacking, while purple showcase new feature launches and so on. Each campaign type features predefined stages that it goes through. For example, we broke down this growth hacking campaign into four stages – implementation, launch, life and evaluation. Stages are then drawn on the timeline and we can track their progress. If you are wondering how to create these templates at phases, you can easily do so in configuration. Here you can see the list of all campaign templates and their stages. I can create new templates here or edit the existing ones. You can also notice that you can define the default duration of each phase. This will be used to pre-populate stage dates when scheduling a release. In this case, the release represents the campaign on the timeline. It's really useful because it makes scheduling campaigns much faster. We can also change the grouping on the timeline. For example, instead of projects, we can group by campaign type. Now you can see that grouping on the timeline has changed. Swimlines are representing different campaign types like SEO, new feature launch and so on. And the colors of the campaigns reflect the projects. When managing campaigns, it's great to have an overview of when campaigns are scheduled to go live and what the preparation phase is before starting the campaign. And that's exactly what you can see here on the timeline. The highlighted areas of the campaigns are showing when the campaign is planned to go live, and the lighter areas are representing placeholders for preparation activities and closure and evaluation of the campaign. The report panel is accessible by clicking on the campaign in the timeline. This report is placed to go in order to see how much time was spent on the campaign or task, the progress, stages and so on. When I expand the report view, I am able to see more detailed information with respect to the campaign's progress. Here we have a high-level information regarding status categories of the campaign scope, I can see how many tickets are done and how many are in progress. If I want to see what the actual statuses of the scope tickets are, I can do so from here. Notice that this campaign is being worked on by three teams – Marketing, Design and Development. Each of these teams is using separate Jira project to manage their day-to-day -day work. If I'm interested in checking what the progress per project is, I can see it from here. All tasks that need to be completed in order to deliver the campaign are linked here in the scope section. Key information about the tasks are visible, things like summary, assignee, priority and status. But sometimes we need to drill down into the actual task to be able to see more information and we can do so by simply clicking on the task itself. The report view is very useful and contains at a glance information about the campaign's progress. I'm able to share the report with my colleague before our weekly update meeting. The list view shows us all campaigns in the compact place. Here we can easily get a list of all campaigns and filter through them to get the right view. I can quickly get a list of all growth hacking campaigns our teams are working on or a list of all campaigns that we finished. And we can always quickly access the campaign report. When it comes to efficiency, the loading time is almost immediate, which is great, and there is no need to switch between screens, dashboards or JQL. All information we need is in one place in Swanly. Swanly makes planning, tracking and acting upon campaigns and marketing tasks as easy as it gets.